Hello, welcome you all to the session of plus 1 mathematics. Let us move on to chapter 3 trigonometric functions. What is trigonometry? It is derived from two Greek words. Trigonometry is derived from two Greek words trigon and metron meaning measuring the sides of triangle. It is having wide applications in the science of seismology, finding out the distance between satellites, designing electric circuits, finding the height of the tide in the ocean and so on. Let us move on to angles. What is an angle? Angle is the measure of rotation about the initial point and if this original ray, this initial side we call it as the uh, original ray and if it is being rotated in the anti-clockwise direction and if it reaches the terminal side, this is the initial side and after rotation, after reaching this is called the terminal side. And if the angle is in the anti-clockwise direction and if it is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction, we call it as positive angle. So, what is positive angle? From the initial side, if it is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction and reaching the terminal side, then we call it as positive angle. In the same way, from the initial side, if this ray is rotating in the clockwise direction, and reaching the terminal side, this is the terminal side, this is the initial side. So, if the ray is rotating in the clockwise direction and reaching the terminal side, we call it as negative angle, this is negative angle. So, there are two types of angle, positive angle and negative angle. Then how to measure the angles? What are the units of measurement? So, there are two ways to measure the angle. First one is degree measure and second one is radian measure. So, the two units for measuring angles, it is degree measure and radian measure. Now, what is degree measure? Degree measure is 1 by 360th of the revolution. Degree measure means it is 1 by 360th of the revolution is called as 1 degree. This is actually 1 degree. 1 degree is 1 by 360th of the revolution and this degree is not the simplest measurement. Degree can again be divided into minutes and minutes can then be divided into seconds. So, the simplest uh, degree that is simplest angle measurement for degree is seconds. That means, 1 degree can be written as 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, 1 degree means it is 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds and seconds is the simplest form of measurement in the case of a degree. Now, what is radian measure? What is 1 radian? So, radian means the angle subtended by an arc of by an arc of length 1 unit in a unit circle is said to be 
one radian. So, suppose the arc subtended by at the center is this. This is the arc subtended. Suppose this arc length is having one unit and this is a unit circle that is its radius is also one unit. In such a case we call this angle as one radian. So, what is one radian? The angle subtended by an arc of length one unit in a unit circle is said to have covered or subtended one radian. So, what about one and a half radian? So, one and a half radian means in a unit circle, I am drawing the same unit circle. The angle subtended by one and a half unit. So, the angle subtended by an arc of one and a half unit at the center. So, this length is one and a half unit. And the unit circle, the circle is unit circle itself. So, you can say that this angle is one and a half radian. So, the angle subtended by an arc of one and a half unit in a unit circle is said to have one and a half radian. So, one radian, one and a half radian. Same way we can find out other radians also. Now, what is the relation here? You can see this is arc length L. This is angle theta and this is radius R. There is a relation connecting L r and theta. So, that is L is equal to r theta. One condition is there for the that is theta should always be in radian measure. What is L r and theta? L is the arc length, r is the radius and theta is the angle subtended by that arc length. So, theta should be in radian measure then only you can find out the value that this relation we can only use for radian. Now, we have studied now what is degree, what is radian, what is the way of converting degree measure to radian measure and radian measure to degree measure. Suppose it is given terms in degree measure. So, in order to convert it to radian measure radian measure is equal to pi by 180 into degree measure, pi by 180 into degree measure. So, radian measure is equal to pi by 180 into degree measure and degree measure is equal to 180 by pi into radian measure. So, if we are having degree measure, we can convert to radian measure. So, we will just convert 30 degrees, how much is corresponding 30 degree radian measure? 30 degree is the same as pi by 180 into 30, that is equal to pi by 6 radian. So, 30 degree is the same as pi by 6 radian and 45 degree, 45 degree can be written as pi by 180 into 45 that is equal to pi by 4 radian. Same way how much will be 60 degree, how can you convert 60 degree into radian measure? 60 degree is equal to pi by 180 into 60 and that is equal to 60 here 3 times. You are getting there pi by 3 radian and what about 90 degree? 90 degree is equal to pi by 180 into 90 or that is equal to pi by 2 radian. So, what about 180 degree? 180 degree is the same as pi radian and 360 degree is the same as 2 pi radian. 
So, these are the corresponding degree to radian conversion. Same way we can convert radian to degree also. So, how can you convert 40 degree 20 minutes to radian measure? How to convert 40 degree 20 minutes to radian measure? So, one thing you have to notice is you did not study to convert minutes to radian. Only we know to convert degree to radian. So, we have to convert minute also to degrees. So, first we will convert minute to degrees, then degrees to radian. So, this can be written as 40 degree and how to convert minutes to uh, degrees? So, 20 minutes means it is 20 by 60. So, total now it is in degree measure. So, total it is in now in degree measure. So, together we can write it as that much degrees and that is equal to 40, 20 by 60 means it is 1 by 3, 40 1 by 3 degree. How much is 40 1 by 3? 40 1 by 3 means 40 into 3 120 plus 1 121 by 3 degrees. How much is the value? So, how to convert this into radian measure? So, in order to convert degree measure to radian measure, we have to multiply by pi by 180 and this can be written as 121 by 3 into pi by 180. So, finally, what will be the answer? This can be 121 pi divided by 540, this much radian because we cannot simplify this value. So, and for 40 degree 20 minutes is the same as 121 pi by 540 radian. So, in this session, we were discussing how to convert degree measure to radian measure. And also, what are the different angle measurement? What are the different units of measuring angles? Thank you.